welcome to plans on planning here we are in my personal planner and as you can tell it's february so that means we're valentine day in it like crazy um i'm gonna keep it fairly simple though well to start anyway because you know as time progresses you add things and it gets awesome and it gets lovely and it gets amazing but to start i'm going to use this very cute valentine washi just so you can see it it's so cute i love it and then we're going to use these um rub-on transfers so you need a coin so it's like you cut it out put it where you want to go and then you scratch it to make sure it's um sticks on the page properly but before we get any of that started we need to get rid of the february here so let's just knock that out real quick bam and then get rid of this now this is a very large washi and you see it takes up basically the whole top portion um so there's no need for like a second washi but that doesn't mean i'm not going to use a second washi to be very honest i have this really really small washi here and i just kind of want to go i think across the bottom just to add a little more flair now one thing i love about these book bound uh planners this time around is i don't have to cut i can just keep on going and i'll show you what i mean um so what i am going to do to make it super easy on myself is as you can see the washi is the other way so instead of turning the washi and trying to do it like that because i'm right-handed i'm just going to turn the book around ah, ah, sorry <laughs> which makes it super easy on myself but another way to make it super easy on myself instead of trying to line it up i mean you could it just takes effort like it takes real effort to like line it up in the corners and all that wonderful stuff i'm just gonna go a little over it and, and just seriously a little over it so see it's just slightly over it and then i'll cut it with a scissor but this is what i mean so when i had my coil bound you go to one side, stop, tear, cut, whatever the case may be, and then you do the other side. What I found with this book bound is it create a crease. So you take it to the middle, create a crease, and then you can seriously just keep on going. You know, keep it all wonderfully aligned and keep on going. And it is seriously just that simple. So now when I get to the end, you can cut it with a scissor. You can snip it. Just like that. And with this on. Bam. And then I'll take my scissor and cut this side. And just because the pages are rounded, I'm going to keep in the same fashion. And round off my pages. Just that easy. And there, I have a super cute banner at the top of my page. And like I said, I do have a washi that I want to use. And just because it matches at the bottom. So it's just enough space for the bottom. And I'm going to go across the whole bottom. Remember, instead of cutting it, I just create the crease and I keep it moving. And I'm going across the whole bottom. Bam, wonderful story. I think I'm gonna go across the top too. What? Crazy. She's wild. What? Yep. 
I'm out here just doing crazy planner things. Because I'm a wild planner girl. And it's, and it's just a little added flair. As you can see, it's really thin. It's not like overpowering or anything like that. It's just a little something something. Just to make it look good. See? Just a little. A little zhuzh. That's what I think of it as. A little zhuzh. So there we go. A little zhuzh on the page. Now, these are brand new. I bought these on uh, from Target. And I've been waiting to use them. So I'm super excited to be using them now. So excited that I have no idea how to get into them. Uh, other than just cutting it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's just cut it. I was looking for like the little flap. You know, that you can like peel away. But it's not that not that type of party so here we are now what I'm going to do is just mark out the areas that I want it that I want everything kind of pasted and you can do that by just cutting So I want this happy Valentine. And it's actually a pretty sturdy paper. So I want that up here. Just bam, bold, in your face, happy Valentine's Day. Um, I want to do these two just kind of over here. Just like in the way, but not necessarily in the way. But they're in the way. And then I have some really great, just like regular heart stickers. Okay. So I'm going to do these two just over here. Just some Valentine mail. Ow. Um, see, I wanted to use this on Valentine's Day. And I love the fact that it's actually too big for Valentine's Day. So that's a definite plus for me. A little uh, over exaggerated. Definitely up my alley. If you know me, you know. So see, this is Valentine. And bam. Too big for Valentine's Day. Ah! Love it. Oh, look at this little cute PS I love you. Oh, made a little boo boo. I'm going to do the PS I love you right down here as a cute way to end the month. You know, like, mm, don't forget, I love you. P.S. I love you. All right, actually, let's start scratching some of these just to see kind of how it works. Um, I do want to get rid of these dates. This is These are January dates. I don't want them getting in the way. And this is how we're just going to start it out. Was, oh, I lost my coin. There it is. All right. Now, what you're supposed to do is you cut it out, put it where you want to put it, and then you scratch it to transfer. And you'll know that it's actually done because you can kind of sense or see that it's off. And you have, like, you honestly do have to, like, put a little muscle in it to get it fully off. So this ain't some, like, um, circuit or cricket where you just, like, a quick little hot press and you're done. No, this is real effort. And you want to make sure it doesn't move that much 
So you're not messing up what's going on underneath. I think that went. So you really have to hold it in place. Like I said, so you don't move it. Oh, oh I forgot the little apostrophe. That's me. Sorry about that. There we go. Oh, see, happy Valentine Day. All right. Okay, so we're taking up the whole area. You gotta apply, oh gosh, apply a little pressure. I'm just making sure I'm not missing any parts of it. I touched it too quick. All right. Let me do my mail. Make sure we get that right. I just want it a little off center. Oh, it's one little piece. There we go. Oh, I guess it was more than one little piece. Okay. So this is taking a little longer than I thought. I'm not going to hold you guys up. But this goes here on the bottom. And like I said, I just want to add some hearts. So I have these hearts. And I have these hearts that I want to add. I got these from Michael's. Michael's. 
little sheets of hearts. And I'm keeping it fairly simple with everything themed, nicely themed. Sorry, I'm just trying to focus. This is a placeholder. Because like I said, it takes, it's taking a little minute. I'm not trying to hold you up. I wanted to put some smaller ones around here just to give it some ah, added flair. See, a little extra oomph. Yeah. Something to mix it up just a tad. And then I have these stickers as well. I got these from Michaels. As you can see, I do a lot of shopping at Michaels. Oh, that was really, really cute. And this says, you are so loved. Ooh. Please let this come up. Yeah, wonderful. Okay. A little change of plans. We'll put this on this side. There we go. Okay, so as you can see, this is what I'm going with. And I will add a couple more of these. Oh, let me just. This one. This is Love You to the Moon and Back. I think I'm going to put it like right in here. And then this. I want to do it in this area. There we go. Just so you can get an idea of where things are going. So that's what it's gonna kind of look like when it's all done but like i said the scratching is taking a lot of time and a lot of effort and i don't want to hold you guys up but i thank you so much for joining me for helping me get started on my monthly spread for february for spreading all of the love if you have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to drop something below. If you want to email me and talk that way, I'm all for it. 
But in the meantime, in between time, later days.